Let's talk about polycystic ovary syndrome, your hypothalamus and progesterone. Polycystic ovary syndrome affects 10% of women. PCOS is one of the most common metabolic conditions for women of reproductive years, and your hypothalamus is at the root of the metabolic issues related to polycystic ovary syndrome. In PCOS, the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis is dysfunctional, creating a metabolic as well as a reproductive hormone imbalance. In polycystic ovary syndrome, androgens are prominent, including testosterone and DHEA, yet progesterone is low, creating estrogen dominance, meaning estrogen is out of balance with progesterone. Insulin resistance occurs, which is the cornerstone of metabolic issues. In polycystic ovary syndrome, the theca cells of the ovary, which produce testosterone, the precursor hormone to estrogen, become insulin resistant. More and more testosterone is produced, converting into more and more estradiol, but ovulation is not occurring regularly, so not enough progesterone is produced to counterbalance the high estrogen. Polycystic ovary syndrome can contribute to infertility because of lack of ovulation. Even if a woman with PCOS does get pregnant, she oftentimes will miscarry because she does not produce enough progesterone to maintain an early pregnancy. So what is the most effective treatment for polycystic ovary syndrome? In my patients with polycystic ovary syndrome, I have found that supporting the hypothalamus with Genesis Gold has corrected many of the metabolic issues, including insulin resistance and ovulation and hormonal imbalances. Some of my patients will require supplemental progesterone, especially if they want to get pregnant and avoid miscarriage. Fortunately, we now have GenPro available. GenPro is the prescription grade transdermal progesterone in a liposomal base that my patients with polycystic ovary syndrome have used successfully for over 30 years. This highly absorbable cream is a true transdermal and has been very effective in keeping women who threaten miscarriage pregnant. All of my polycystic ovary syndrome patients start by taking Genesis Gold at their body weight, which is four grams for 50 pounds of body weight. Usually within three to six months of taking Genesis Gold, their menstrual cycles regulate and they start to ovulate. If they're still having issues, we add GenPro Transdermal Progesterone Cream to be used at about the time of ovulation, which is often marked by spinbarkite, an egg white-like vaginal mucus that indicates high estrogen levels in the follicular phase. GenPro Transdermal Cream is dosed at 100 to 200 milligrams twice daily, applied to the inner thighs for 10 to 14 days. If they get a period, great. If there's any suspicion of pregnancy, they will do a urine pregnancy test, and if can positive, continue the GenPro. Progesterone levels can be lower, usually about 50 to 100 milligrams daily is more than enough to maintain the pregnancy. But to prevent miscarriage, we've got to continue the progesterone for the first 14 weeks. If you have any questions, I explain polycystic ovary syndrome in depth, as well as infertility and metabolic disorders, in Young Reproductive Women in my new book, The Hypothalamus Handbook. And you can join us in our hormone reboot training where you'll get a discount on both Genesis Gold and GenPro. I'll see you in the next video.